Welcome to GDs. And this is The Last Kingdom Season 2. Season starts, with King Alfred letting his Eldermen know, that Wessex is safe for now. But they need to look beyond its borders, to the Kingdom of Mercia, East Anglia, and Northumbria. As he wishes to unite them. Under one England and one God. King Alfred, is visited by a priest from Cumberland. Who let him know about a vision and a prophecy. And he wants King Alfred's help, to free Guthridge, from a slave camp. As in the prophecy, he is shown to be their savior. Their Christian king. And the one who will free them in the north from Danes. King Alfred, wanting to unite the entire kingdom under one god, sends Father Bayoka. To help them get Guthridge released from the slave camp, in exchange of silver. Meanwhile Uhtred, traveling to the north, has been drinking. In order to forget Isolt. And it is Sister Hild, along with Halig, who have been helping him and taking care of him. The northern city of Aforwick, is being ruled by two brutal brothers. Sagafrid, and Eric. And as they leave the city, to fight the Scots. It is when the people of Aforwick, rise against the remaining Danes, and take back the city. And as Uhtred, reaches the city, and seeing a Dane being tormented for sports, sets him free. It is here to Uhtred also get to meet Father Bayoka. Father Bayoka, wants Uhtred, to help him secure Guthridge's release, as he will be the king in the north. And he might help Uhtred, get back Bebenberg, and might also help him take out Kjartan. Uhtred, getting to know that the slaves are in the territory of Kjartan. Let's Father Bayoka know, that it won't be an easy trade. And comes up with the plan. And they scare of Kjartan's son, and his men. And rescue Guthridge. Being released, Guthridge wants Uhtred, to join him, for battle against Danes. And he wants him to lead his army. And Uhtred agrees, after the king assures to help him take back Bebenberg. And they head back towards Cumberland. Where Guthridge is sworn, as the king in the north. But his advisor Abbot, doesn't like Guthridge, to be counseled by a Uhtred, as Uhtred doesn't believe in their god. Father Bayoka, leaves for Wessex. And Uhtred, begins to assemble an army. Danes, as well as Saxons join them. And it is in this mix, Kjartan, have sent some of his men to take out Uhtred. But, Uhtred is saved, with the help of Halig, and Hild. And they take out Kjartan's men. And capture one of them. With Uhtred, defeating these men, his popularity is growing among the people. And Abbot is afraid of the same. In addition Uhtred. And Guthridge's sister, Gisela, are also getting close to each other. And seeing this, Abbot is worried, that Uhtred might replace their Christian king. And he continuously cautions the king about the same. In addition, one of Kjartan's men, Sidric, wants to serve Uhtred. And lets him know, that he is the bastard son of Kjartan, and he wants to join him, as he wishes to serve a true lord, and a warrior. That is Uhtred, son of Ragnar. Seeing all this transpire, King's position on Uhtred are slowly shifting. Guthridge, finally assembles all the earls and lords of Cumberland. And they march towards a forwich to take it under their rule. On their way, they encounter the Dane brothers, Siegfried, and Eric. But the king, instead of fighting, wants to negotiate. And in return offers them the castle of Kjartan and all its land, and asks them to join him in fighting Kjartan. Uhtred, disagrees with the plan. As it will require a lot of men and a lot of time, but the abbot, and the king overrule him. And they strike a deal. And finally, they reach a forwick. Abbot counsels the king, and lets him know, that when Uhtred, will take back Bebenberg, he won't be satisfied with it. And would like to rule the entire north. And Guthridge, wants Abbot, to come up with a solution. So they go to his uncle in Bebenberg, who in exchange for giving them 200 of his men, in order to take back the castle, from Kjartan, wants them to give him, the head of Uhtred. On the other hand, Uhtred, lets Guthridge know, that he wants to marry his sister, and that there are feelings from both the sides. But Guthridge, betrays Uhtred, though he is not able to take Uhtred's life, but instead he sells Uhtred, and Halig, as slaves. Uhtred doesn't want Hild to respond. And asks her to take his sword. And go to King Alfred. King Alfred, getting to know this, is not sure what can be done. But his daughter and father Bayoka want him to help out Uhtred. And Otta comes up with a solution. And they take help of his brother, Ragnar, and ask him to look for Uhtred. And Ragnar, along with King's guard, Steapa, go to north to find Uhtred, but Uhtred has been sold as a slave on a ship. And they have to wait for it to be back on the shores again. On the ship, they become friends with another slave Finnon, and are completely broken. 
they try to escape once but fail, and in the process, Halig is killed. Meanwhile, Uhtred's uncle, getting to know that Uhtred is still alive, backs out from the deal. And the Dane brothers, knowing that they will have less numbers, also decide to part their ways from the alliance. And they start attacking the villagers in Northumbria. Abbot advises the king, to offer her sister's hands in marriage to Uhtred's uncle, in order to get him back to the alliance. And Uhtred's uncle getting to know, that Uhtred loves Gisela, agrees for it, as it will torment Uhtred. But before the marriage could be finalized, Gisela, leaves a forewick. And gives Sitrick a note, asking him to give it to Hild. As time passes, Uhtred, is back again on the shores. And Kjartan's son Sven, has also been looking for him. But before he could execute Uhtred, Ragnar shows up, and Uhtred is saved, and they take their revenge from the shipmaster. Hild, helps Uhtred to heal. And Ragnar lets Uhtred know, that they have to go back to Wessex. As he gave his word to the king. And they will come back for Kjartan and their sister. Hild, also lets Uhtred know, that Gisela is safe, and she is waiting for him. But before he could reach her, Abbot marries her off to his uncle in a proxy marriage. And Uhtred in anger and rage, kills the abbot in the church. Uhtred, returns to Wessex. And King Alfred, lets him know, that he killed an unarmed monk, on a holy ground. And thus, someone will have to pay, and since he was under Ragnar's command, it will be Ragnar who will be punished for it. But, if Uhtred wants to save him, he needs to pledge his sword to him. And in exchange, he will let Ragnar and Brita walk free. And Uhtred pledges his loyalty to the king. And Ragnar and Brita are set free. And Uhtred marries Gisela. Alfred, wants Uhtred, to take his men. And help Guthridge defeat the Dane brothers. And he also instructs his nephew, Ethelwold, to travel with Uhtred. Uhtred, meets up with Ragnar, and he lets him know, that they can use Guthridge's army, to get to Kjartan, and save their sister. But in order to do so, they must first get rid of the Dane brothers. And Uhtred, comes up with a plan, and they sneak in into the Dane brothers' camp. And Uhtred forces Eric to make a deal for his brother's life. And Eric agrees to leave Northumbria, in addition, Uhtred also takes the hand of Siegfried. Uhtred, goes to the king, and lets him know that they are now free of the Dane brothers. And he must now help him take back Dunham from Kjartan. And he also lets him know, that his brother Ragnar, will take the castle for himself. As it is built on their father's land and blood. And Ragnar, lets the king decide whether he is with them, or against them. Guthridge, feeling guilty and afraid, pledges his support for them. And now they have an army to take back the castle. Uhtred, comes up with a plan, and they attack the castle and are able to get in. And as they attack, Thyra, takes her revenge, and kills Sven. Whereas Ragnar, kills Kjartan, and settles his blood feud. Father Bayoka, helps Thyra, and takes her with him to Wessex. Uhtred, also returns back to Wessex, and as the Lord of Kokum. He is guarding the borders of Wessex, for King Alfred. Meanwhile, King Alfred, in order to strengthen Saxon kingdoms, and form alliances, decides to marry his daughter to the King of Mercia. Ethelwold, visits Uhtred, and lets him know that the dead spoke to him. And they wanted to let him know that Uhtred will be King of Kings. And he wants Uhtred, to go to Bamfleyet, to see it for himself. Eric, also visits Uhtred, and he wants Uhtred to allow him a safe passage to Bamfleyet. As they are also going to see the dead man's talk. And they have also heard that Uhtred, will be the King of Kings. Uhtred and Gisela, go to Mercia to attend the marriage of King's daughter, with the King of Mercia. It is here that Uhtred learns, that his sister and father Bayoka, have fallen in love with each other. And they get married. Uhtred, being forced by a Athelwold goes to the Dane land, to see what the dead man want to speak to him. And he tells Uhtred that he will be the king of Saxons and Danes, and will be the king of kings. But Uhtred, was able to figure out that it was not indeed the dead speaking, but a long ruse by Dane brothers, who wanted him to join them against Saxon. As they capture London. King's daughter, and the Mercian king, get married. But Ethelard, is not fond of Uhtred, and also doesn't like that his wife keeps him in such high regards. King Alfred, doubts Uhtred's loyalty, as he got to know, that he traveled to Dane lands. And on being asked Uhtred lets him know, that the brothers wanted him to join them, and they have taken London. Alfred wants Uhtred, and his son-in-law, to go to London, in order to negotiate and to see what the brothers want. Ethelard, doesn't respect his wife, and is rough with her, and lets her know that she will keep quiet among company. 
He also thinks that his wife has had other relations. Uhtred and Ethelord go to London to negotiate with the brothers. At the negotiations, Uhtred is able to save Father Piling by asking the brothers to let him fight for his life. But they are not able to negotiate a retreat from the brothers, as they are not willing to go for any amount of silver. And as they return back to Wessex, Ethelord wants to attack the brothers, and Uhtred lets him know that he will not go until and unless they have a proper plan. King Alfred didn't like how Uhtred spoke, but he knows that he is right and finally agrees to the plan Uhtred proposed. They decide to attack London from two sides. Ethelord also brought his wife to the battlefield and left no one to protect her as he went for the attack. And it turned out to be a trap. And as they attack London, the brothers went back to the camp and kidnap King's daughter, the Lady of Mercia. Uhtred returns to Cookham and sends his spice to know about Ethelflaed. Whereas Ethelard returns to Wessex to inform the king. Uhtred getting to know about Ethelflaed from his spies informs the king. Alfred sends Uhtred along with Ethelard to negotiate the release of his wife and her daughter. Meanwhile, in captivity, Ethelflaed is being treated well, and Eric and her have been falling for each other. And as the king's men reach Bamflaed, they start negotiations. Uhtred and Sigifred are finally able to come to a settlement. Uhtred was able to figure out the likeness of Eric towards the king's daughter, and when he spoke with her, she wants Uhtred to help her escape as she is in love and feels happy with Eric. And this might be the only chance for her for a happy life. In addition, any amount of ransom for her will be a far greater price for Wessex. And Uhtred agrees to help them. Uhtred informs the king about the demand, and they are very huge and have to be paid in two parts. Ada is against giving any ransom as it will allow the Danes to gather a huge army and they will crush Wessex as well as Mercia but if they don't pay the ransom king's daughter will not be killed but she will be humiliated and paraded across Dane settlements and people will pay to have their way with her but Ada is still against paying the ransom and wants the king to attack the Danes but the king disagrees and asks him to arrange for the ransom on the other hand Ethelflaed sends a message to Uhtred with a plan of escape with Eric. Whereas Ada has decided to go against the king and will raise an army to attack the Danes. While Uhtred goes by the river to help them escape. The king, getting to know that Ada has gone to attack the Danes, decides to go after him. As Uhtred reaches the castle, the plan has changed as the Danes grew suspicious of Eric's likeness towards Ethelflaed and have shifted her to the center of the hall. And now, in order to help them escape, they come up with a new plan and cause a distraction, but in order for Ethelflaed to escape. Eric has to fight his brother, and he gives his life so that she could escape. Uhtred is able to get away from them, but Sigifred and his men have been chasing them. And as they move ahead, they reach the army of Otto which has also been joined by the king. And in the following battle, Sigifred is killed. While the remaining Danes retreat and Ethelflaed is saved. Otto is imprisoned for betraying the king. But instead of going through a trial, he takes his own life. While Ethelflaed thanks Uhtred for helping her out and risking everything. She also lets him know that Eric might still be inside her and asks Uhtred to promise her to answer her call for help if in the future she feels threatened by her husband and Uhtred agrees. And as the season ends, King Alfred lets Uhtred know that he is thankful to him for once again saving Wessex and lets him know that he is now free from his oath of service. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, Please subscribe.